In a wizard, we have another way of creating models. It's, it's called primitives. So if you go here in models, I'm going to use primitives. In order to do that, you need to create regions and those regions should be well-defined. Like here, if I go with my mouse, it says spheres, it says cylinders, it says cone, and so on. So here, if I go to solid primitives, I will add the software to extract cylinders, cones, and sphere, and I select that here, there, over there, and that. So the software will define that as it's uh, defined on the on the mesh. I can ask the software to extend it if needed. I can extend it by 10%, but I can see what it does and insert those uh, those shapes. So if I press next, you can see that it creates a pretty decent model on the on the on that. And I can press OK. Now, if I hide my mesh, I got my solid bodies, but all those solid bodies are independent because when I did solid body, I didn't ask to merge uh, the regions or merge the model. So I need here to make at the end a Boolean. So if you go to model and Boolean, control A and OK. The same here with surfaces. If I just Look at the, the regions I got here, plane, plane, plane. I got here a cylinder, I got different things. And I can go back to model and ask for, to make surface primitive. So maybe plane, cylinder, cone, sphere, or torus. And again, you can select, if I select those planes, I can just ask the software to build it and maybe to extend them by 20%. If I press next, I got all those planes, which are surfaces created. Every time you have a surface or a plane, the software create a plane, a sketch, and the surface plane. 